Yo, what's going on? I hope you're doing good. I'm Jay Cart Ray from GrowOnYouTube.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing, online business, and music production. Now, I was about to go and make some scrambled eggs and edit some videos, but I saw something that inspired me to make a video, basically. Now, I did say how I wanted to talk about mindset and that sort of stuff, but not in like a boring way because I don't want to just make like mindset videos and stuff but I know how important it is for you to be able to shift your mindset from maybe where you are now to approaching things in a way that's going to bring you closer to the results that you want so that's what I want to do in this video I want to help you understand the shift that I made in mindset so that you can apply it to your own life your own endeavors whatever's going on around you because the truth is yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of shitty stuff that goes on in life and you can't avoid it. You're not going to have a perfect life where everything just goes right. There's no way that's going to happen unless you're super duper lucky. And even then, something's going to mess up eventually. Like that's that's just the way life is, isn't it? So what the way a lot of people approach these things is they... They just complain. They just complain. And I, we've talked about competitive complainers before. Like people who just want to complain for the sake of complaining and they want everyone to hear them complain and they want everyone to know that they're a victim and they're having, you know, a terrible time in life. Great. Yeah. <laughs> that, what's that going to do for you? Nothing. It's not going to change your life. That's just going to keep you in the same position while letting everyone know what position you are, you, what position you are in. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. This video is not for you. This video is to help you move towards your goals. That's what I want to help you do. So if you're not a competitive complainer, what can you do? Like what's what's the the alternatives basically? Now I was on Instagram recently and I was like looking through the stories and whatnot because I was going to work on um website design but the I couldn't do it because it just wasn't working at the moment. So I've got to set, set a ticket and all that sort of stuff. But that's besides the point. Basically, I saw some stories from uh, certain people just being bare depressed, man. Bare upset. Like, yo, stuff is terrible. This is terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And the thing is, yeah, when you look at things and you're like, that is terrible, you're telling your mind that is terrible, innit? And that is the way that you're going to approach it. When you're saying, oh, you know that th that problem is a terrible problem and there's nothing I can do about it. That is then the way that you move forward in life. You move forward thinking that is a terrible problem and there's nothing you can do about it. And then you live a life where things happen to you instead of you actually living with a purpose, like you purposely moving towards what you want to do. Instead, you're just being very reactionary and you really want to change that. Now, the way that I look at negatives and problems and that sort of stuff is I try to look at it from a positive outlook. I'm not like, yo, this is a, this problem's great, lovely times. No, that's stupid. <laughs> that's not the case. But the, usually when you have a problem, there's always a silver lining. There's always something that you can take from it, something that you can gain from that failure, that problem, whatever, there's something that you can gain from it that will help you in the future. Let me give you an example that may help you understand this concept. Let's say that you you got a nine to five job, you're you know you're doing you're doing your job and stuff and your manager cuts your hours. He cuts your hours so you're earning less. That's a problem, right? You're earning less money. That is a problem that is inherently bad to you generally. But there are positives here. There are positives here. You now have more time to dedicate to maybe building your side business or building your creative endeavors out so that you can do that full time. So there are positives that are coming out of it. Of course, in the moment, you're probably going to be like, this is terrible. But when you step back and you look at it, you can look at the silver lining. And once you focus on that silver lining and you don't focus on the super negatives, you'll realize that you're going to be, you'll be more positive generally in your outlook towards what's going on. And if you are more positive generally towards what's going on and you spend less time complaining and more time looking at the positives that you're getting out of these negatives, basically, 
you will see yourself making a lot more progress because complaining does nothing for you. It just wastes your time. That's all it does. It's wasting your time. But when you look at the opportunities that come from problems, you will then chase those opportunities. You will then find yourself in better positions because instead of being like, oh, you know, this is just terrible stuff. It's just terrible stuff happening to me. You're able to move forward and see opportunities that you wouldn't have been able to see before like i'm able to see so many opportunities now at this point but that's because i've learned a lot of stuff i've tried a lot of stuff i've seen what works i've seen what doesn't work so now i can see when there are a bunch of opportunities so i understand if you're not seeing that right now but you will get to that point if you keep your mind open and keep your eyes open to look for these opportunities now there's something else that i wanted to say but i've i've kind of forgotten it opportunities um yeah another example yeah so if a youtube a youtube video or whatever does rot does terrible on my channel or gets like low amount of views or something i'm not thinking ah oh, this video did terrible man i'm just gonna quit like this is the worst no now i know that <laughs> that type of content is going to get that type of result so i've learned something and i'm able to use that information to now create successful videos down the road so when you fail it's not just failure you need to try to learn from failure if you try to do that if you make an effort to learn from your failures and to learn from all the crappy stuff that happens in your life then you're gonna find yourself in a very advantageous position because you're going to learn a lot of stuff. You're going to fail a lot. That's just life, isn't it? And you're going to learn a lot of stuff that's going to enable you to then be able to succeed in different areas in the future. So this is just like a mindset shift that I wanted to share with you. I hope it's helped out. I hope it's helped giving you some insight into how you can maybe try to look at things differently instead of just looking at something and being like, oh, you know, this is a terrible thing. Even if it's a terrible thing, even if it's really, really bad, think about the positives that come from that and focus on the positives. Now, of course, you can't do this for everything. There will be like some really bad situations. Like let's say your mother died or something. I don't know where the positive is in that. But generally, when you're going through life, if you, if you do this and you try to maintain this, you're going to live a better life. You're going to be more happy because you're going to be more thankful for what you have what's available to you you're going to be more appreciative of that and you're, you're just going to be less of a moany complainer man no one likes moany complainers you don't want to be that that is not who you want to be so i hope that this video helps you shift your mindset from oh, that is terrible man why why does it why does it always happen to me to okay that happened, how can I prevent that happening in the future? Or that happened, but this also happened. So now I've got this opportunity or I've learned this and now I'm not gonna do that. Like there's, you can generally learn. You can, there's generally a learning opportunity pretty much at every step in life, innit? So if you're trying to just learn and trying to better yourself, then you're gonna end up way less <laughs> miserable than these people who all they do is complain about the bad things that happen to him bad things will happen to you you need to understand that you need to understand that now bad things will happen to you that is life life is a struggle life is suffering once you understand that you accept that it's less surprising when terrible things happen to you you're not like oh <laughs> i didn't expect this terrible thing you're more like okay yeah terrible things happen that's just life in it and like it's more like water for ducks back because i understand that terrible things happen now so when terrible things happen i'm not thinking oh my god how did that happen i'm more like wow like <laughs> why i'm surprised that didn't happen sooner to be honest because i know that terrible things happen and this is i think this is ingrained in me because i felt like i was super unlucky for a very long time because things just wouldn't go my way in it things just wouldn't go my way things that i would try would just fail weird things would come out of nowhere like super weird scenarios would happen that just made me feel like i was cursed and i think i've, I've gotten past that but having that really tempered my expectations from the types of 
things that would happen throughout life. So now I expect terrible things to happen and it's much easier for me to react to that and to just keep it moving instead of going into a deep, deep set of depression and being super upset for a very long time. Although, you know, when terrible things happen, I might, I might be upset for like 15 minutes, but I know that sitting around and feeling sorry for myself doesn't change anything. It's not gonna help me move forward. So I need to turn it into something positive, especially, I almost forgot about this. If a lot of crappy things are happening to you, you can turn that into content. <laughs> like, if you're a content creator, you're watching this, you can turn it into content. So there's always a positive, in it? Like when I got hacked in 2017, I turned it into content. That was terrible. That was really, really bad. That was one of the worst things that could have happened. But, you know, the positives of it is they didn't get into my, um, they didn't get to my YouTube channel. They didn't get to, you know, certain things that were like super important and they didn't get any of my money <laughs> and it became content. It became content. I was able to turn that into a video and I learned a lot from it so that I can prevent that in the future. That taught me that I needed to have better passwords. I needed to have better passwords and I needed to secure myself online. So I did that. And now it's going to be harder for anyone else to hack. Please don't take that as a challenge if you're a hacker, please. Please do not take that as a challenge. I beg you, please leave me alone. I don't want any smoke with you, man, them. Allow it. <laughs> I don't want to fight the hackers, but it should be more difficult now, isn't it, basically, because I've put more security in place. So again, hope this helped you out. Remember, join the free course. Link will be in the description, all that sort of stuff. Go to growonyoutube.com forward slash free course. I think it's free course. Is it free course? Yeah. And that will teach you the five most important steps to YouTube success. So if you're interested in going full time on YouTube or using YouTube to promote your business, your creative endeavors, anything like that, that course will help you out a lot. And that's pretty much it. Do you have a question of the day? A uh, question of this video is, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me a negative situation that's happened to you and tell me how you've turned it into a positive. Because trust me, doing that is, is going to change your life. This is going to change your life. When you start seeing negative situations and turning it into a positive in your mind and looking at the positive ramifications of that, it's really going to change like how happy you are in general because it's just it's such a big mindset shift and when you start doing this you start seeing more positives and less negatives like the negatives also become positives if you get what i'm saying so yeah i don't want to go on and on about it because i feel like i'm just spewing about mindset stuff now and you know you know that i like the actionable content in it so let me know in the comment section if you want more of this stuff or whatever um or if i should structure it but i don't know what Maybe I need to do, I'll, I'll look into, you know, what I want to do with these videos, but I'm having fun with this. I'm having fun with this because I just wanted to make this video and now I've made it and now I'm going to upload it. And now we, we move. Now we keep moving. Peace out. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a good day.